It was 15 years ago that this basket gave Nina a 70-68 lead over Beloit with two seconds to go in the state championship game. Not many in the overflow crowd expected what would happen next, not even the announcer or the camera crew. until I let it go. Once I let it go, I could, I could, sometimes when you take a shot, you can see it, it's, it's, it's in the right direction. Um, but once it finally hit, I was relieved. Lamont Weaver was a junior guard at Beloit when he made his miracle shot. Later, he played college ball on the same floor for Wisconsin. The player who was assigned to guard him was John Arpin. Arpin's playing days are long gone. He is working in Sheboygan now as a plant manager at Georgia Pacific. Still, 15 years later, he hasn't forgotten the shot. Yeah, it was a prayer, but it looked good, you know, from what I was. It, uh, it, I knew it was going to hit the rim, or at least, you know, come close. And uh, you turn around, and, you know, about that time, your adrenaline is really starting to flow because you think this is championship and you're going to win it. And it looked, but it looked like a good shot. And he really threw it up, you know. And it wasn't just a, it wasn't just a throw-up shot. It was just, you know, he he did take a little more time, and he had two seconds, and he kept his poise in that way. And uh, it just went off the board, and bank, it was banked in. It was one of those things where you're up, and then all of a sudden you're completely emotionally let down, completely. We had guys on our bench that were just sprawled out on the floor. You know, we went over to the floor, and two or three guys are just laying there like they're unconscious you know the coaches in that 69 championship game were bernie barkin for beloit and ron einerson for nina both have been to the state tournament many times but no game sticks out more than that one i remember seeing it go through the net and, uh, i think i was up on top of the roof of the field out so if there's a hole up there you don't put it there when you're coaching you're so involved in trying to get that because you never give up and of course now as i look back on it i it, it uh, certainly changed my philosophy uh, on a lot of things. We set up uh, that, uh, that play uh, trying to get it uh, down as far as we possibly could to get the best shot that we could. And uh, guy golly, whatever I did must have been right. He threw it like a baseball pass. He was a left-hander. And when the ball went, it curved. You know, and uh, we were sitting on the bench, and I said to my assistant, it's going to go in. You know, I just, it's unbelievable, but that's what I said. I said, it's going to go in. You know, I just had a terrible feeling, and it just curved and hit the backboard and came back through the basket, you know. That was, that was it. Weaver's shot only tied the game. It took two overtimes for Beloit to finally wrestle the championship trophy away from Nina. I was really surprised when he hung in that well for two overtimes. Uh, you know, it's a tribute to the coaching. And the, and the kids that were on the floor, too. You know, we, uh, we came that far, and we got kind of nipped in the bud there with that last second shot, and still held together for for six minutes, which, you know, is, uh, you'll never, I'll never forget that either. The remarkable thing about it was that uh, those kids under that kind of situation and that kind of experience in front of 12,000 people in the championship game uh, didn't fold in, in the game. We came back and we played two overtimes and lost by one point, you know, which was remarkable. I thought it was a tremendous, you know, testimony to their, their character to be able to do that. We knew then, I think, that we were going to go on and, and, and win it. I think with something like that to happen, I think that's just a signal that you're on, the, you're on your way to win it. 80 to 79 in double overtime. Lamont hasn't left the game he loves. He's now an assistant at UW-Whitewater. Well, what do you say, Lamont? You want to give it a try? Well, it's been 15 years. I'd, I'd say since I made it in the past, um, I think I could hit something. Probably just as good that he missed. It might have taken the magic away from what happened 15 years ago.